when the Lenovo Z2 Plus was launched. It was very much underrated and got lots of hate reviews on almost every website where it was placed to sell. And that caused Lenovo to decrease the price of the Lenovo Z2 Plus, which led to a very big change in the sale of this phone. Now the phone is selling in almost 9000 rupees with the flagship hardware such as Snapdragon 820. People started to buy it and the sale of this phone again started to increase slowly. But again there was a problem. The software of this phone was very much buggy and which irritated people. They wanted to use custom ROM instead of the stock one which led to the developers to take interest in making best custom ROMs for the Lenovo Z2 Plus. That's why here I'm making the review of one of the best and the newest ROM out there which is based on Android 8.1 Oreo and it's pretty much awesome. Hey guys, my name is Imanshu and you are watching Informer and today I will review the Omni 8.1 Oreo ROM for Lenovo Z2 Plus. So let's get right into the video without wasting further more time. First, let's boot up the phone. Now the phone is booted up and let's check out the about and settings. So here you will see the android version and its security patch level, which is on android 8.1.0 with the January 5, 2018 Android security patch level. After that, the first option in the row is the Omni developer's own video game in the settings. Now let's move towards the customization. As it's a custom room, so here's the advanced customization option named as Omni Gears where you can get options like styles, buttons, bars and lock screen, rotation and battery LED etc. In the more option you will see some other information related to the system. One more thing I want to tell all of you guys is that there's no software navigation bar or U-Touch customization is given. So if you want to use this room, you just have to use the stock configuration. Now the camera is done. When you install a custom room, you will definitely always expect a better camera with it. But here's a problem with the camera app. Most of the time it gets stuck while capturing photos. That's why I installed the Google camera modded APK in which the portrait mode is enabled. And it just well defined the camera and works way much better than the stock camera of this phone. And it will work properly because the camera to API is already enabled by the developers. I'll also put a download link in the description for the camera. So that's all guys. I have tested almost everything and all of them working awesome. Like GPS, hotspot, Wi-Fi, audio and notification tone etc. And the last thing I would like to say is about the battery life. As you heard of it, Google's Android Oreo is deeply optimized for battery backup. So don't worry about it. Till then, stay tuned.